Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm very excited to do a beer that I've had sitting in my cellar for a little bit of time. Uh, this one's actually by Crux Fermentation Project, and they are a small brewery out of Bend, Oregon. Uh, I had done one of these for their, I believe their Outcast IPA, which I like very much. So this will be the second offering from them I've had, and I have high hopes for it. This is their Tough Love, and their Tough Love is a Imperial Stout that is bourbon barrel aged with Kentucky bourbon barrels for nine months. Um, in addition to that, I have aged this uh, an additional two years after it was put in the bottle. So hopefully it's going to be very good. I have very high hopes for it once, once again. Uh, this one had some wax on the top, and I went ahead and took that off ahead of time because you don't want to see me messing with getting the wax off. But that says to me there shouldn't really be any oxidation going on with this. One of the big problems with you know, letting a beer age is if there's not wax you know, or something else to keep the uh, air from getting under potentially, you could come up with some pretty off flavors from oxidation in the beer. So this one should be good. Now, this one was given to me by my awesome mother-in-law once again. There have been some other beers she's given me that I've had on the podcast or done this with. Um, Awesome. It's very nice when you have a mother-in-law who's looking out for your beer interests. So Dawn Bowling, thank you very much. 11.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Not sure if I said that already. Um, they have a little bit of information on an information card that they put on there. It's got their little emblem down there, Crux Fermentation Project. Let's put that down out of sight. Um, and you have to see their labels. Their labels are very cool. Um, always something interesting going on with them. I believe I showed it on the Outcast as well. So here goes the Tough Love. Oh, there's a ton of bourbon. Oh, man, are you kidding me? There's a cork in there, too. They tricked me. Now I'm going to have to go get a corkscrew. Good thing we are also a wine house, so I keep a corkscrew close at hand. I didn't know they were going to do that to me. Now, uh, just imagine if I had not already taken the wax off. Then you'd be sitting here forever watching me do all this stuff. Jesus. It's really in there. I got this. Oh. And now it broke off. Just a reminder to everyone when you're going take a cork out of any sort of bottle you might want to go ahead and take the corkscrew all the way down don't get too eager because otherwise you're going to get what i just got a broken cork which you don't want especially because if you get it far down it starts shredding um, you get that in your beer wine whatever got it and everything is good just gonna pour a little bit of this sucker Ooh, it's pouring dark pouring very dark Makes me happy. As you can see, it's very dark around the edges. It's a little bit of a reddish aspect to it, brown going on as well. Not a whole lot of head to it. Um, typically, don't get that with higher ABV beers. Whew. Get the bourbon right up front. You get some oaky aspects. You get vanilla. You get a nice cocoa, dark chocolate. Get a caramelly note from the bourbon. A lot of bourbon, a lot of bourbon coming through on this, but it smells smooth. There's no crazy assault with alcohol going through your nose because sometimes when you smell a bourbon barrel aged beer, it'll, you know, the alcohol kind of burn your nose going up. This smells very smoothed out. So here we go. It's tasty. It's very tasty. I get so much like. Vanilla, caramel, milk chocolate. It's like a sweet milk chocolate in there. The bourbon is so soft in this beer. The malts are so soft in this beer. It's a delicate imperial stout done with bourbon barrel aging, and it's nice. This is such easy drinking. Super easy drinking. I'm starting to get a little bit of burn coming up slowly from the back of my throat, but it's super, it's super slow, and it's just creeping ever so slightly. And it's not like a real tough burn. It's just kind of like more of like a dull warming type burn. Yeah, all those notes. You get the wood out of that. Tons and tons of bourbon, caramel, vanilla, milk, chocolate, like I was saying. Get a little bit of a licorice -y finish on it as well. 
a little bit of a coffee aspect too. Very complex, very tasty. This is bourbon barrel aging done very well, I'm happy to say. Had high hopes for this and it's nice. It's super nice. Um, people who like bourbon barrel aged beers that aren't too astringent, that aren't you know, kicking you over with the spirit aspect to it. You're getting the spirit flavor here, the nice bourbon aspect, but the alcohol's not crazy. It's not too aggressive. It's so smooth and easy. Um, this is a nice beer. This is a very nice beer. Problem is, small brewery out of Oregon, the only way you can get it is if you're close to it or you have an awesome mother-in-law or something who will get you a beer like this. So make those connections, because uh, damn. I know this isn't out all the time. It's kind of a special release. I believe it's their Banished series. So check the internet, look at their website, and see when it's coming out. And like I said, make those friends so they can get you this beer. Damn fine beer. Damn fine beer. Hope other people can find it. And if you can, hit me up. Let me know what you think. Brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. We'll also take any sort of uh, suggestions. Uh, I got to cheers this to everyone out there. Hell of a beer. Everybody go out. Have yourself an awesome beer. Preferably a barrel-aged one tonight to cheers me back. Thanks so much, everyone, and go have an awesome beer.